Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. I am very excited to share this moment with you because I have very exciting unboxing as you can tell. It's a Chanel classic flap um, and uh, well, it's not purchased from the boutique obviously. Uh, not obviously, but <laughs> because of their, frequent, uh, or their recent price increase, I don't actually know when I will ever be able to buy another classic flap in store. I don't know if I ever would, but um, yeah, but I went ahead with this purchase and this is a real unboxing, so I want to share my excitement with you guys or disappointment. I don't know what it is, but we'll open it up and see it together. I am so excited. I also promised my husband after this purchase, I might not, I will not be making any large purchases for a whole year, but I've made similar promises in the past, so I don't know if that will be true or not but anyways I saw this bag and I decided to jump on it and you know I, I, I I'm really hoping it's um, I won't be super disappointed I am mindful that you know whenever it's a secondhand purchase I've made enough secondhand purchase to know that you know you can't um, like they're not gonna be in a brand new condition so you know you have to be reasonable with your expectations and things like that so uh, without further ado let's just open it up together it's really well packed and it came really quickly I am very happy with how quickly it got to me like it's that's very very exciting just remove the label because my address was showing very clearly on there um, and this is this is actually my first like real consignment sort of purchase because all my previous purchases there are more more or less like a purchase just from personal um, resellers but you know a lot of them are like there's a fine line between an actual consignment store and a, and a real like secondhand reseller I think the difference is really like technically with an actual store you're supposed to be paying taxes and things like that um, but anyways, oh my god, you guys, I cannot contain my excitement. Like, I don't even know how to, what to, like, do with my hands. Okay, so, as the title says, it's a Chanel. <gasps> it's packed it nicely, too, okay. Okay, so, first, of, first off, this is not... It could be the actual box, but I have a feeling that this might not be the actual box for the bag itself. It looks similar to a vintage um, shoe box. Maybe it's a shoe box or maybe it was the original box. All the labels and everything has been removed. So it's very possible that this is not original, but that's not a huge deal per se. <laughs> I'm not gonna be picky about that. She also included some snack in there, which that's great. I love that. Uh, and some tissue paper. So. Regardless, I know it's a real Chanel box, but it just really much feels like a Chanel shoe box, which I've also had other ones. Okay, but let's open it up. Oh my god, I'm doing this live with you guys, so it's extra nerve-wracking a little bit because I just don't know how I will react. Okay, so it comes in a Chanel dust bag. Again, this dust bag, I am not sure if it's original. Um, fun fact though, not... I don't know, it's fun fact, but you guys know the more recent uh, Chanel classic flap, they all come with that white dust bag. I'll do another comparison, obviously, between this one and my more modern current one with the dust bag and everything. But it's only until 2011 that they've started doing the white dust bag. Prior to that, it's always been the black dust bag, which is interesting because I always thought there was possibility of a color transfer issue. So they shouldn't be using the black dust bag, but I guess people never thought of that before, maybe. The really vintage ones, you do actually have the black and the white uh, velvety bag with no strings. It was a very much of a, it almost feels like the cloth that you use to buff your bags. Anyways, I'll put the timestamp below so you guys can click to the part where the bags are revealed and stuff, but I will ramble. I will talk to you guys about random things throughout the video. Anyways, here is the dust bag. And let's see how she packed it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh wow. 
look at this beautiful bag. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. This is so beautiful. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, it's actually exactly what I imagined it would be. It's so gorgeous, you guys. Okay, close-up shots. So, it's a classic flab in lambskin, but honestly, this lambskin does not feel as delicate as I thought it would be um, in the medium-large size and in this beautiful 24-karat gold hardware. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's... Like, I, 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 I can't really even believe the age on this bag given the condition. Wow, it's gorgeous. Like, on the... Um, on the ad, she mentioned that this is like an 8.5 8 um, out of 10. But honestly, like, I would easily rank this as 9 or 9.5 because all there is... Because based on the picture, I really study her pictures. I even ask for videos and for, you know, regular lighting pictures. And all I could see is just minor greases on the lambskin which is super normal like you guys can see like very faint wrinkles which you cannot tell from from a distance at all up close you can see a little bit of wrinkliness but again nothing that really impacts your overall appearance of this bag and look at this 24k turn lock it feels like it just came out of the shop like honestly it's so pristine I cannot see any scratch on it. It's like in perfect condition. I don't even know like how this is possible to be honest. Like if you guys have, cause I, I if you guys uh, follow my channel, you know I do have another vintage piece. And it's true, the 24K does make the production uh, better, but it's definitely not this, this pristine. Like it's scratch free and it has this beautiful shine to it that looks like it's like a, almost like a new replaced hardware. But I guess they can't do that and if they do replace it, you wouldn't have that 24K stamp on there. Wow. Okay, sorry guys. I'm a bit like speechless at this point because it's just, it just so, it's so gorgeous. Okay, let's inspect the strap. I have to say the one thing I didn't look at too carefully is was the strap um, condition because I would just like I had to jump on it quickly and um, I did look through the videos very quickly. I focused on the bag itself mainly. I didn't like go I didn't do a lot of close-up uh, views of the strap itself. But if the hardware is as good as a turn lock on the strap, I will have no complaint whatsoever. Like honestly, this is exceeding my expectation because I thought, you know, and I can insert some pictures of the actual listing potentially. Um, because the picture looks so nice, I thought, you know, it cannot be that nice. Like that the actual bag must be um, must be a little bit less perfect because of the color and the leather condition. Like I, you know, you can't expect the leather lambskin bag to be um, in that kind of condition. But this is absolutely beautiful. I am so so excited and grateful that it came like this. It's just amazing i i don't even know oh sorry i am a bit speechless as you can tell like it's it's just so beautiful and i honestly it's hard for me to tell whether the i can't i don't think the corners has any touch up if you guys can tell me if you have a lot of experience with spec spas i don't think there is any Definitely doesn't feel like a repainted or a retouch up bag. It has been authenticated too by Zico as well, so I have that peace of mind too. Okay. Okay, you guys, let's open her up. 
and this has the, like the one thing that for beige, uh, beige and light bags that you can almost never avoid is discoloration and color transfer in the back pocket and this one has none like I just don't even know how that is impossible like was this like this must have a very very meticulous owner um yeah okay sorry let's skip this part I'm gonna put a timestamp on um on details of the bag uh, in my video that way you guys can skip all that speechlessness from me and you guys can go straight there okay there is oh interesting so it does come with your original tags that is very cool so although it doesn't have the um, authenticity card which it doesn't it's unfortunate but it does have a a card and it looks like it's in Korean that's very interesting uh, I know these have these are the case for some of the vintage pieces honestly if you purchase this bag brand new whenever it launched it was probably $1,500 something around there but um, so it came with some little things that that was original to the bag I, I'm hoping and then let's see inside the flap it's actually in pristine condition as well you guys can see here no problem it's a bag that's made in friends and inside she actually gave 10 out of the 10 condition it's like brand new no scratch nothing it's beautiful and then the sticker is perfectly intact it's not even like a little bit off or anything like that and so this bag okay now I'm gonna start I'm gonna put the timestamp right here and I will tell you all about this bag oh my god I'm so 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 happy you guys like this is exactly how I pictured it would be and better you know like it's beautiful okay this is where I'm gonna start so as you can tell this is a classic medium large uh, flat bag from Chanel and it's in this very beautiful lambskin leather. It has a little bit of wrinkle and greases in the bottom part but the top it's quite nice. has a little bit of wrinkle on the top and the, I guess where you would fold the flap which is normal like right here. Uh, has the nice one lace pocket in the back again a little bit of grease at a certain angle but overall it's super clean and pristine no corner wears whatsoever which is again I don't know how that could be true but and it comes in the gold hardware that's a 24k plated um, yeah this one is mating friends and the most uh, the thing that you guys are probably interested is this is from 2003, so it's a Series 7. Um, it has been authenticated by Zico, however, it doesn't have the authentication card, but it does have the sticker intact and perfect. <sighs> what else can I say? It's exactly what I want. Um, so the price on these bags right now in store are in Canada after tax is about 12, 12k. Um, or close to that I would say which is madness honestly like I I, I don't think I would ever pay that much um, for another bag in store so this is a vintage piece I purchased from the consignment store um, shipping was really quick no issues whatsoever um, I think I'm most impressed by the hardware on this bag like it's just it's in pristine condition and yeah it's I am super happy with it. I am so excited to have added this to my collection. The one thing I would ask you guys is, like with beige color, it's not all like black, right? Like black, there's no doubt it's black, it's black, there's no other variety or, or um, different shades of black. But like with beige, honestly, I, I know it's a classic beige that they come out every year, but I feel like every year's beige is slightly different and then every year or once in a while they will come out with darker beige, lighter beige, nude beige, beige clear, beige rose, they have different series of beige line and there is also the classic beige. So 
I feel like I'm not an expert in that in terms of color code but I really love this beige color because it's a very kind of classic looking beige I would say it's more on the lighter nude color because it's um, it has maybe a very very faint, uh, faint pink undertone to it but like very very minimal um, yeah like I think but it, it's it's exactly how I would how I pictured it would be um, and I honestly <laughs> I'm still just like admiring can't believe this is my bag now it's and the price I paid on this like you guys wouldn't believe it's actually five thousand dollar Canadian so it's um, like all inclusive so that's a really amazing price it's less than half of what you would pay right retail for sure um, right now the caviar are definitely a lot hotter than the uh, lambskin ones um, but you know I, I still think a timeless lambskin is just as beautiful and again I've mentioned this with all my other previous vintage related video too not just for Chanel but any other vintage piece are generally better uh, made than the current piece one uh, very distinct thing you can tell is the stitching on these quilts are a lot more neater and a lot tighter like they come to about 10 to 11 stitches and the newer model only has eight or nine stitches per quilt that used to be one of the ways to um, authenticate a bag but which is not no longer applicable I guess because the current ones they only go up to eight to nine uh, a lot of the vintage ones are more handmade there's less kind of machine involvement involved um, the measurements and the um, alignment and uh, they're just a lot a lot way better like uh, quality control in general um, yeah so definitely worthwhile to invest in a nice vintage piece and I really like the 2003 series like if you go a little bit older like prior to two, year 2000 the look of the bag is more evident that it's a vintage piece whereas after that point is actually less obvious like you can't like if you I just wear this bag out there you can't really tell right away what's the age or year of the bag because it's quite similar to what you would currently have on the market the other one distinct feature of a vintage bag is there used to be for their chains there used to be a gap or a hole that you can easily see uh, before whereas now I think they try to wrap around it so it's less evident but again, it doesn't bother me at all. I think also the strap length is slightly shorter. So I will do another video to talk about that. I think this is a perfect complement to my Chanel um, collection because I have, if you guys follow my channel, you know I have the caviar um, black in the silver hardware and this is a beige lambskin in the gold hardware. So it's kind of like the complete opposite. So it would be a very nice kind of complement and opposite option for me. Um, I just, I am still just so happy and so pleased with the look of this bag. And, you know, I, I thought I would have to really like somehow maybe, um, I don't know, have it restored or have a spot because, you know, I cannot be as nice as in the pictures as how it's shown, but it really, really is. I am so relieved I guess in a way that um, it's just as nice and beautiful as I thought it would be so anyways that's supposed to be my quick unboxing because you guys know how I work I do an unboxing and I have a series of videos um, about the bag coming so I'll have more discussion if you guys want to see more videos on this bag or more close-up shot let me know because I will do that um, in the near future Thanks again for joining me. I hope this was just exciting for you and for me. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.